Hey everyone, welcome back to demo of upcoming Metroidvanias. Nah, Metroidvanias, three of them. First one being a minimalist game by No Name Studios, and that's a Metroidvania with a very minimalistic art style. I have no idea what the game entails. I, all I know is that it uses a sort of turn-based platforming. Uh, com I'm sorry, a platforming that platformer that uses a turn-based system. I don't know if I can call this a Metroidvania, but we'll see. The second game that I want to check out is a game that I backed from Kickstarter, which is Mira and the Legend of Jinns. The third game I want to check out. Biomorph is another metroidvania that has a very interesting system where you kill an enemy and then you morph into them. So very curious to see how that plays out. It can go any number of ways. I just saw a couple of screenshots. It looks absolutely brilliant, the art style. So that's going to be the third game. Talking of games, whatever happened to Replaced? I don't know if you guys have like seen Replaced. Just, I don't know, that game just popped into my head for some reason. Replaced is this gorgeous looking game, pixel art, but has one of the best cinematographies that I've seen in an indie game. It's just absolutely gobsmackingly gorgeous. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I hope it's not in some kind of development hell and they cannot ditch the project. I hope someone picks it up, even if the current devs are in trouble from the publisher or something. But anyway, I digress. I, just, I don't know, that Replaced just popped in my head because it never leaves. It lives in my head rent free. It's just that gorgeous. Check it out if you haven't already. Let's get into the world of Worldless. Okay, so we have some branching path and some nodes and it says current location. I'm there. An objective is just a straight path. Hmm. Why do I get a feeling it's not going to be that straight? Holy shit. Sorry, I was just admiring the character. Like, it is quite minimalistic. So this one is something a friend of mine recommended it to me. And, um, yeah, he did mention that it's going to be really minimalist. I didn't expect it to be this minimalist. I mean, I saw how it looked on the uh, Steam page, but I generally try to avoid reading and uh, looking at trailers because... I love getting into metroidvanias completely blind. I, to be honest, I love getting into every game completely blind. Like I kind of skip the <clears throat> trailers and stuff. So this one is no different. I saw the art. I, I thought that you're going to get that character as you saw her in the cover art, but I guess this is how it looks. So there isn't, I'm just trying to press, press some keys here to see if I have dodge. I don't have dodge. Okay, turning around is fluid, the character feels fluid, look at the world, it looks amazing even though it's such minimalist art. This, this one, wait what was that, I just saw some kind of a cube over there which was pulsing, oh there it is. Okay, how am I supposed to take it? I'm, I'm pressing constantly pressing triangle, uh, or not triangle, sorry. I have, I keep calling it triangle even though I'm playing with an Xbox controller, it's Y. Let's keep moving forward. At the moment, the first impression, absolutely brilliant. Man, demos nowadays are really, really good. Like, they really make you intrigued, even though we don't know how the game, oh, wait, hold on. No, you just walk in and collect it. Okay, I don't know why that one was so difficult. Maybe we can take it later. Maybe it's a puzzle that I don't know what it is. So yeah, I was saying the demos were demos are so good nowadays that um, even if the later game, the main chunk of the game probably won't be that interesting. Demos are really good. Whoa, man! Even with a minimalist art style, that jump had weight. That jump had like a lot of weight. Look at that. Wow, anticipation delay everything is there it's amazing this like yells creativity or screams creativity rather what is this thing i'm just trying jumping around and pressing my y okay that's a long jump that i can't make probably i'm gonna try it once more oh, okay so maybe this way it look like something I can go and press interact with so interact is Y or triangle in this game okay I can't jump there so that's off limits for now 
Does this do something? No. So they're just decorations. Okay. Oh, first enemy. Wow. Nice. Combat tutorial. All right. Already into combat. Offensive attack. Uh, attack within your time limit. What do you mean? Time limit. Physical attack is A. Okay. Magical attack is X. Okay. Oh, there's magic and physical attack. Cool. Right. That, that's awesome. Close. Okay. What do you mean? Oh, there's a bar down there. That's my time limit. That's what they meant. And the enemy's health is uh, down below on the left. Okay. Cool. Right. Uh, visual cue will warn from the type of incoming attack. Horizontal uh, flash warnings, physical attack incoming. What? What do you even mean by that? Let me look at the example here. Horizontal flash warning means a physical attack is incoming. Okay. Physical guard. Hold A. Oh, A, uh, well, X or A is, is for um, attack and as well as defend. Cool. Okay, I just have to hold it. And the character shields. Oh, shit. Keep forgetting that there is time in the game. I lost one attack for sure. Okay, I'm gonna spam A right now. So the character doesn't waste any time. Hey, it's a magical attack, right? For, uh, I think it was Y. Let me check. Combat tutorial. Every time your guard breaks, your shield resistance will be weakened. Use appropriate guard just before the enemy attack hits to execute a perfect guard and avoid deteriorating your shield. Okay, so I, it's kind of like a parry. Right, I'll have to get... Uh, used to the timing uh it's not doing any magical attack oh it did it's x actually not y so cool in xbox x okay there's my reward how do i take it triangle what the enemy respawn what the fuck can i do magical attack now yeah pretty neat system actually you have to like constantly observe so that's not a reward feels like the enemy respawns for some reason i'm not sure why maybe it's a demo they just want you to experience it i guess it's a tutorial uh, enemy so let's keep going attacking the enemy and filling its tank to the threshold will allow you to absorb the opponent for new skills there's enemy absorption in this okay pretty cool breaking the enemy's block by using correct type of attack is double absorption okay so Wait, once again, what was that? Attacking an orb. Right, got it. Alright, let's do it. Okay, it just goes instantly into combat and I miss like one attack, I think. Oh, there's something filling up over there. The visual cue will warn for the incoming attack. Vertical flash, magical attack. Okay. Yeah, you already told me this. Uh, okay, so you guard with the same button you attack. When you press them outside your turn, they become blocking, parrying. So, X is for magical attack to enemies and guarding from that as well. Vertical flash, X, nice. Okay, I just uh, pressed. I keep saying X and X, it's A and X. Okay, now I'm pressing X on the Xbox controller. Anyway, absorption, uh, okay, what is this? L, B and R, B, what's that? Ah, okay. So, R1 and L1 and R2, uh, L1 and R1. Possible inputs to complete the absorption. What? How am I supposed to remember that? Y, X, A, B. Y, X, A, B. Okay. Ting, 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 ting. Ting, 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 ting. Okay. So Y, X, A, B. The more you fill the tank, the easier the absorption, absorption will be. Let's try to absorb. Oh, wait. X, A. What is that? Y, B. Fuck. It's, there was a question mark over there. Absorption. Fill the absorption tank as much as possible. Oh. <laughs> wow <laughs> man this game has some really interesting things going on that's amazing okay i'm gonna check that out again right so attack it oh wait guard okay trying to absorb again x a oh a x okay it's from right to left which is even more strange like you go from in to out uh something happened right that's asking me to press the button over here A, A, A. I got some ability, but I'm not sure what it is. Oh, wait. Okay. So, recover time when breaking. Okay, okay, okay. So, this is the skill tree, basically. For Oh, there are two kind of currency. One is a blue sphere, and the other one is the um, rhombus, or diamond shape. Yellow one. 
right here so i don't have any of that maybe there are different kind of enemies that you find okay let's go explore the world this game is really good like i i know i'm repeating myself how do i take that okay here's what i'm gonna guess probably there's kind of some kind of dash uh, and then you activate and you'd like instantly dash to pick it up because all the other uh, all the other cube thingy you just walk up to it and it gets absorbed oh man this is so gorgeous even though it's so simple oh shit oh, look at the character throwing the sword oh fuck no we fell uh, into the abyss which is awesome okay let's check uh, what I was oh yeah oh but the platform is way above how do you expect me to go up all I was trying to say was the art is just fucking fantastic the movement the fluidity of everything the attack animation the enemy designs it looks gorgeous I mean I couldn't go left so I'm just going right right oh the character walks as well if you gently push right stick okay what am I supposed to do here oh press oh something happened nice what did we get high jump rb oh, oh dash baby dash okay see i told you there is dash you can dash upwards sold on this game i'm really sold on this game i i think what the fuck is going on over there it's like two different forces fighting each other uh, can i ping to them Okay, the blue and orange ones and the blue prevailed okay my color prevailed so which is good I guess I can't get over how beautiful this looks okay I think it's a boss I think yeah look at that the way the camera is zooming in hey, what's our idle animation I want to see if there is any I don't think there is any it's just that the spline keeps doing a wavy oh no wait badass yep oh no it's just an enemy a new enemy oh shit forgot i have to guard hey yeah 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 i keep forgetting that i have time to attack resisted what do you mean by resisted your health is going oh shit that was three attacks keep forgetting about my time wait i thought i'm going to be sent back to some checkpoint at the beginning but no getting defeated just pushes you back and i think you can walk right in yep with full health i like this shit should stop talking because i keep missing that uh, cue that we are supposed to attack the bar that comes under her okay then i guarded what the fuck look at my health it drained everything i mean there's no point in fighting in this one i have no idea what i'm supposed to do there let's try to absorb this guy x x a nope got thrown okay i'm not supposed to guard this and just guard the big attack that it does that crazy ass plasma blast or whatever yeah this one yeah, really not sure. I'm supposed to guard that. If it does that again, I'm screwed. Yep, I'm dead. Hmm. Okay, where am I? How do I check the map? Oh, that is the objective. No, the objective is down there. Okay, I'm just going to quickly go this way and check what's down there before. Oh, wait, I can't go down there. What the hell? Okay, we're some new place and there's some kind of new ability, so let's try that. What is this? Oh shit! What? I have no idea what just happened. I need to study this again. Okay, you show up. Oh, 
what? And then just goes away. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. I have to guard in that pattern, I think. I have to check that pattern. Okay. One, two, one, two, one, two. Once more, once more. I just need to check the pattern once again. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, I'm supposed to attack it. Okay. And absorb it, I think. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I was prepared to press the key combination, but no. Oh, that's the... See? I, I think every single node has a enemy that you're supposed to absorb. And then fill it into your ability slot yeah there we go okay oh there's something here i wonder what that arc that gets created like a sphere around you okay let's take this holy shit what did you do what did i get okay hold lb oh Wow, range weapon. Whoa, wasn't expecting that. Damn. And look at me, I'm already getting excited. Like, with this game, I'm it's doing a lot of unexpected things. Something going on. Okay. Two different energies fighting with each other, sort of. That moon thing we fought, the other thing we haven't fought. So, who's gonna win? What is happening? I'm, I can't make out the story from this, but wait. Wow, <laughs> something absolutely bizarre happened, but I have no idea what that meant. <laughs> okay, we probably will face that thing over there. That weird combination of dark and like fire and ice. Oh, there, there you go, there you go. It's fully, fully ready to be absorbed. I'm gonna eat you. Yep. Perfect. Oh, I didn't even have to get the key combination when it's completely full, so amazing okay one more can I absorb no nah 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 all oh, right so that's okay trying to absorb the dude again okay I just press Y Y Y yeah that's why oh that was actually pretty inter in intense and interesting to be honest okay I think I can step on this yep yeah, I think I'm gonna fight the boss here. Yep, it has to be the boss fight. There we go. Holy shit, wasn't expecting something this big. Alright, so what are you gonna do? Okay. Resisted. Resisted, but uh, he's taking damage, so... Oh shit, that's physical attack. I think I need to break the dude's shield, which I'm not sure how to do it. Oh, it is weakness. Okay, the the the. Oh shit! Shit! I didn't see the pattern. Damn it! Ah, oh, the dude has a new shield. Wait, I have magic, so why do I care? Fuck! Pressing all sort of wrong key combinations here. Oh no, there's some new... Oh, fuck, 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 I wasn't prepared for him to come out of this. I don't have electricity, what are you talking about? Shit, 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 what is your attack? Oh, let's see, hopefully I survive this. Yeah, I did. I don't have electricity, man. What do I do, what do I do, what do I do? Oh, I do have electricity. What am I talking about? Fuck, I, I had it from the very beginning. Shit. Yeah, I messed it up. Completely messed it up. Anyway, let's try again. Let's go again. Fight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, physical attack. Mm-hmm. 
Magical attack. Yep. Okay. Okay, not bad. Electricity. Electricity again. Two more. One more. Come on. Absorb, 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 absorb. absorb. Yeah, boy. B. Fuck. Completely messed up. Okay, there we go. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Physical, 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 physical. Absorb. Yep. B. Shit. No, 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 you don't know. You don't. I won this fight. Absorb again. No, shit. Whoa. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Well, I killed him, but did not manage to absorb him, so... Wait, what's up? What's up? Oh, what? Is the demo done? I think this is a trailer, they're playing a trailer. Oh, wow! <laughs> and this reminds... Oh, you get a body later on. It's so fucking gorgeous. Yeah, this is the trailer. So I think I finished the demo. So we're just looking at the trailer while we're looking at the trailer. So what do I think? First thing, the game is just freaking awesome. There is, it's absolutely smooth. Like I said, while I was playing, taking something that's uh, minimalist and making it appealing, especially to a gaming audience like us, it's quite hard. And that's, they, they pull it off. Really fluid. The animation, the way it works, the arcs and with the character moves. And the character itself is just a couple of primitive shapes, you know, triangles, cubes, squares. I'm not just talking about the player character, but the enemy designs as well. They're just basic shapes. With that, they manage to make it really appealing. Hats off to them. Really amazing. The gameplay, so the turn base, the combat, the main thing, the platforming, take it or leave it. I mean, you know, it's like any other platformer. We've played hundreds of those anyway. So it's it's the same thing. I mean, the dash is fluid, goes from platform to platform. The character jumps. Hey, what else you want to hear, right? Like it, it plays well. The combat is where it where it is at for me. It is turn based, but you really don't have the time to prep your character. Like you don't program your move like you do in certain turn turn based games. Here you have to react faster and uh, especially to the enemy attacks, whether it's magical or whether it's physical. And based on how many lines that show up, that's the number of attack they're going to do. I'm still not very familiar about uh, how the parrying system works because even though I was holding my shield was cracking and then they mentioned something about exactly during the enemy attack. But it's very hard. The timing window is so short that it was pretty hard for me to do. So really not sure uh, how that works, maybe in the main game. They'll ease that parry window a little bit if, if they want us to parry exactly when the line shows up and then a second later, like a microsecond later, you press the button so the attack doesn't hit you. I was trying that but I couldn't make it. Maybe I was not fast enough. I'm not sure. The weapons, <laughs> the sword, and then you have an arrow, like you got the range. Like this is how a demo should be made. I keep saying that about all the demos nowadays. It's just the demos that I've played recently, all of them are really good and this is no exception either. I love the game. Gonna get it for sure. I'm gonna play it. Really unique. Please go check out the demo and don't take my word for it. Just play for yourself and check it out. It's pretty awesome. All right, let's jump to our next game number two. So second game on our list, Mira and the Legend of Gens. This is a game that I backed on Kickstarter. So I'll be getting a copy from there. The reason I backed this game is because of its theme. It's a Moroccan folklore, so which immediately sold me because I don't know what Legend of Gens has to say. I really have no idea what the story is all about because the Kickstarter just featured Certain elements from the game, they have some really cool art and enemies that comes from their geography and uh, the the geography of Africa, that land and Morocco, Egypt and all that area, right? Tunisia and all that. So it's going to be amazing to check out what's going to be uh, in the game. Let's get into the game right away. So they did mention that this is a pre-alpha build, so there might be bugs. Oh man, the artwork is absolutely amazing. Okay, let's see what this is. Defensive abilities and heal is L1, uh, L... Wait, why is the character not moving? Didn't like that I said I'll be using the PS4 controller. 
Okay, the character simply doesn't want to move. Hmm. It already doesn't recognize my control. Like, I'm moving. But... Nothing seems to be happening. I really love with the, uh, the art and the character, but... Uh, please move. Okay, what if I use... Right, I'm gonna have, I probably will have to use my keyboard, I guess. Just disconnect this shit and check again. Oh, goodness. The game did give me some trouble when I launched. I mean, they did mention that it's in the pre-alpha, but um, yeah, the controllers were not working for some reason. I mean, it's working in the menu, but when I get into the game, the character doesn't respond. So I'm just going to try it again. Hopefully this time we don't have any trouble. He doesn't want to move with the controller. I mean, it's not recognizing the controller at all, like whatever I do. Nothing at all. Okay, I have no idea what's what's up with the game. It doesn't recognize a controller at all. Again, it's a pre-alpha build, so I guess there is some problem with it. So, but let's play with the mouse. It's just annoying that I can see the uh, cursor on screen. So yeah, that's that's annoying. But anyway, it's just a demo. So let's just go. I just want to get the feel of the game. Let me just remove my bloody tablet from here. I guess this is going to be one of the prettiest uh, pixel art that's going to come out in Metroidvanias. Look at this absolutely gorgeous okay let's go i think we start our combat here i guess we're gonna see our first enemy nope first platforming okay wall jump uh, can i do it now no it's still not recognizing my controller oh okay oh wow <laughs> <laughs> she actually has uh, moves like Benetton 1. Just the physics does feel a bit strange. But again, it's too early to judge the game. How do I go that side, man? Come on. Oh my goodness. How do I jump? Yeah, I get that. Like that? No. What do you want me to do? Okay, the enemy is getting frustrated over there. I'm getting frustrated over here. How do they expect us to go here? I have no idea, man. What the fuck? Okay, maybe do I have to dig through, dig my way down or something? The music is way too loud. To like, let me just reduce it. Oh, there is no option available. Okay. So I'm hitting space, as you can see. I'm hitting space. She doesn't do anything. <sighs> okay. What I'm gonna do is, there is a dash, so I'm going to jump and dash across. There we go. Fuck. Goodness gracious, I mean, this was a pain, to be honest. I won't, I won't lie. Oh shit. Man, it's kind of difficult to play with keyboard and mouse. Holy fuck, look at the amount of health this guy has. Are you dead? <laughs> <laughs> this is a. I was just praising games uh, just before this while playing World Less. That uh, demos have become really amazing, but uh, yeah, well, you have this game, which demo, you know, which has uh, attack. It seems okay. Attack what? I'm not here. So I was saying the demo. This demo is like really janky. I mean. Yeah, they said it's a pre-alpha, but I don't think they should have released this right now. It feels extremely unfinished. Really weird as demo. Look at the character. Takes, keeps taking hits from me. And then I stop. And it dies. <laughs> but I get it, I get it. I mean, it's pre-alpha, so what do you expect? Shit, it didn't die. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, I just hope the, the devs do something about the game. Uh, they, I mean, they, they're aware of these things. So I'm holding off judge, judging this game. I mean, it's kind of an unplayable demo. Okay, there's something, Myra, Mira. Shadow said we should find a relic in this area. I really don't care about the story right now. Okay, just get me the gameplay. Press A. A doesn't work. Okay. Oh, where's Yuba? There's another character with me. I didn't even... Okay, I'm, I'm not reading all this, guys, because it, there's no need. Uh, we just want to play the demo right now, just to check the game, just get the feel of the game. Oh, what? 
Okay, how do you open this? E R O Okay, you just have to hit it. Okay, cool. Okay, there's a lot of bramble there, so I guess I have to wall jump here. Oh no 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 oh shit. Dude, I, I really can't play Metroidvania with keyboard and mouse. It's and my keyboard is a mechanical keyboard, so I don't know, I'm not comfortable. It just feels a bit weird. Uh, there's a new kind of enemy out there. And there's a sound. <coughs> I have no idea what that is. Again, I'm constantly hearing the sound of someone banging against a wall or some shit. Anyway. Oh, wow. Press up. I guess this is the uh, bonfire. What? It said something I didn't see. Beautiful looking game. To give them that. Like, look at that game, man. Fuck, it's so gorgeous. Holy shit. Oh, wow. So this is the ability tree. Okay, first off, I'm not a big fan of the uh, menu design. Again, this could be work in progress. But from what I'm seeing, um, yeah, it's it's all right. Okay, how do I go back? Right. A lot of areas. I'm just looking at the art. And there's an irritating sound the character is making or the game is making. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, it's locked. Can't really go up right now. Okay, there's an enemy that's partially visible. Oh, shit. Okay, they just stand still and then they just die. Cool. So, I don't think their uh, hit animation response and everything has been done yet. So, that's fine. Holy shit, first boss. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm trying to dodge. He has this uh, dodge attack, which is awesome. But that's unintentional. I'm trying to dodge and she does the, does the, 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 what do you call? Revive, yes. The spear attack. That's not what I was trying to do, though. I was just trying to dodge while attacking at the same time and uh, she was doing that. You know what guys, I'm kind of going to uh, stop here this demo because I'm really not enjoying the demo, to be honest. I'm finding it very difficult to play with the keyboard and mouse because I'm not used to it. Even though it's kind of a janky demo and feels very clunky and the sound is really irritating when she moves around. With all that, even then, it did not sour the game game for me. I'm actually looking forward to the game because I want to see more of it since I've seen some of the Kickstarter updates and uh, the new enemies that they're going to feature, which looks absolutely brilliant. But as it stands right now i can't really play this game it i don't want to judge the game by this uh, alpha demo you know recently whatever demos that i've played they have been absolutely brilliant to showcase the game including games that i actually did not really enjoy the demo was good uh, noctis arterna i think the, uh, that's how it's called but yeah the demo was flawless but i did not enjoy the game if it's up to me i wouldn't put this demo up for long and take it down because this is not a good indication for the game i know they mentioned there is a warning like it's still heavily work in progress and there's going to be a lot of bugs and stuff which completely understandable so let's wish them luck and maybe they take this demo down and have a new one up which has a little more flushed out system that showcases the game even if it's just 15 minutes 20 minutes demo that's more than enough you know just to showcase the proper game core game mechanic of this metroidvania like how it works and that cross one and uh, worldless all these things are this perfectly handcrafted demo to get us excited for the game and i hope the mira and the legend of gens do it too all right that's about it let's go to game number three now right so we are in our final and third game biomorph this teaser demo takes about 10 to 15 minutes to complete and will give you a taste of biomorph mechanics that's what all that's all we need a uh, much longer version of the demo will be available later this year okay let's not really read about what uh, the next is just about the demo so let's start the game right right away no no fluff i'm gonna close this curtain because i can't see shit yep i saw this art in the uh, steam teaser 
Just this much. After that, I haven't seen. Okay, that's our player character, I believe. Very cool looking character. Oh. What? I was just trying to figure out where our head was. <laughs> okay, a little cute three eyed alien. If that's an eye. Mm hmm. Beautiful art, Android. Holy shit, man, this looks gorgeous. Oh no, she's got caught in a stasis field. We have to rescue her from this. Uh, okay. Oh, not, not skip. Is this some kind of alien lab? You are an alien. <laughs> what are you talking about? Boss, who is she? Okay, there are some companions with her. Oh, that's the companions on left and right. So she has no arm or her arm speaks. Harlow, that's the character's name. I uh, don't remember. Okay, shouldn't we try to escape? If it is an alien lab, you guys are aliens, what the fuck? Or what are you? He's got a point, boss. Now we have to rescue her. We have to get in the room somehow. Okay, so those two are her arms. They speak sentient beings along with her. I, I love games with companions as long as they're not cheesy. This art, I was just wowed by it. Like as soon as it opened, it looks absolutely gorgeous. There's a little too much information on screen, I feel, in art terms, but it looks gorgeous. Let's see how it is as we play along. Okay, okay, hold day to jump higher. Oh, already we have wall uh, sticking to wall. Look at the art, dude. It, uh, it reminds me of Void Bastard a little bit. I mean, it's a little more colorful than Void Bastard. It's just that the lines uh, that's there in between for the textures, those remind me uh, of Void Void Heart. Void Bastards, I'm sorry. What's Void Heart? Uh, that's uh, Hollow Knight. Anyway, so let's just continue on forward. Can't seem to go there. It's amazing that all the metroidvanias have uh, i mean it's a good thing if you ask me that if metroidvanias keep the similar keys even though their play structure will be different it's nice oh i found a secret room already it's nice because you don't really have to learn the game's keys and you can jump from game to game easily the bruiser launch a powerful melee attack damaging oh you need to get a melee ability first to attack you can uh, do this attack multiple di in multiple direction executioner fire Range ferox bullets at enemies, okay. Chip section has been added to the game menu. Activate alright, so let's see. Okay, I'm not doing anything. The character is doing it by herself. Okay, that was a cutscene. That was intense. That was awesome. I'm just assuming that's how they speak. I know it's cringe, but yeah. We did we become fists? <laughs> I want to punch someone, Harlow. Punch someone, okay, please. I'm not gonna punch someone just to make you happy. Uh, I probably will punch someone. Okay, um, already I'm not a big fan of the dialogue, but I'm a fan of the game, like the gameplay. Super fluid, nice. Uh, super fluid and awesome design, especially the main character looks absolutely badass, even though she speaks <clears throat> like a eight year old. But anyway, let's go. Uh, okay, that's how we were supposed to go. RT to slide. Yep, already figured that out. And there we have enemies. Hey, these guys were not there before. Oh, there's some chips. Uh, do you think that... Yes, it opens a blast door to the room she's in, I think. What makes you think that? Only question is, how do we turn it on? Hello? 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 Guys, I feel weird. Like someone's fingers are poking around inside me. You, what? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Okay, is some kind of vision that she's seeing or she's being controlled by someone else. Envy, isn't, this isn't opening the blast door. It's not. Why do you think it opened? Why do you think it opened the blast door? Anyway, yeah, but it's just that the dialogue feels a bit strange in my opinion. Let me see what happens when she dodges. She becomes this weird ass... Uh, liquid creatures that slides and then leaves a residual oh what the fuck yeah that's certainly not good punch okay all right there was no stakes i could just punch through let me check this status biomorph level one vital energy 100 base attack 25 okay resource and currency six look at that character man looks like muto mewtwo actually from pokemon 
I like that. Uh, right, chips. Available chips. It's already slotted. Inventory key items. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, these are the ability. Uh, wait, what? Vital scan recovery. Hold LT to perform a vital scan recovery. LT is L2. Uh, right. Okay, there's something over there. An enemy, perhaps? Yep, yep, yep. Fucking Tauroth or some shit. Taurus. RT to dodge monster. Yep, already knew that. That's how. Oh shit, I got hurt. Oh, what the fuck? Man, the enemy designs are so fucking brilliant. Look at that. Whoa, I love that. Hollow Knight esque, but I still love it. Nice. Beautifully drawn art. What the fuck? Oh, this is the one, the biomorphing part of it. Like you morph into this enemy, right? Right. Whoa, look at that. Oh shit, man. This is awesome. This is actually pretty awesome. Whoa, badass. That was that was nice. Am I the enemy now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I can't move. I can't do shit though. Oh, I can move now. Can I attack? Okay. Did something. Oh, Jesus. No, what? Did we just turn into a torot? Yes, we did. How did you do that, Harlow? Uh, 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 all I can think of is smashing my head into the thing. Okay. Have I done this before? We have to be a torot again or we are trapped here. I feel like I can open half my eyes. All four of them. Okay. Biomorph. LB to biomorph. LB would be this one. Yep. It's L1. Can I jump and go back here? Oh, if you exit the room with the morphed creature, then you leave your body behind. And there is that pile of meat over there that we use, use to make a DNA core or some shit. I mean, let's attack this. Oh, Jesus. Nice, man. So how do you exit this guy? You just have to exit the screen or maybe plus... Oh, there we go. Oh, and you leave, leave it right behind there. Okay, there is something here. What Ferox analysis? What is this? Oh, it's a challenge room. Nice. Okay. Found a challenge room, people. Let's survive this. Oh, I need to heal. I need to heal. Okay. Which game was that that I was playing recently that had a heal based on how many attacks you do to the enemy? Oh, it wasn't uh, Blasphemous. Uh, I think Cross One. Yeah, Cross One had that. Like you hit the enemy a number of times and then you get your heal back. Uh, there's something similar happening here. Oh, there is a Toroth over there. All right, let's go. So you can't really transform into all the enemies. Like those smaller enemies, you can't. Okay. Pretty one dimensional combat right now. Uh, but I'm sure that's not going to be the case when we go ahead in the game. Okay, what did I get? I'm not sure what those currency, what that currency does. Let's go to the left and see what we have here. Oh, there's something there. Okay, that's done. And that looks like an area we probably won't be able to go because I see some sharp objects. Oh, but there's a turret over here. I did not intend to do that. Let's just go transform into this guy. Oh, even this guy gets hurt. Okay, that's unfortunate. Some oh man, please, please don't do it like Ender Lilies. Oh, thank goodness. Because in Ender Lilies, if you guys haven't played the game, uh, if you finish a challenge room and you enter that back again, it triggers it all over again, which is extremely frustrating when you're exploring. Not sure why they chose to do that. Oh, wait, I did it. Not sure what or how I did it, but let's see. Ah, interesting. And jump. RB to pick it up. Raw material. Uh, you make, you found a mix of finest materials on Ilios. These resources can be used to unlock upgrades. Upgrade safe for structures in Bootmore. What the fuck was that, man? Right, I guess we're back in the main story and I have zero fucking health. Hoping to find a safe house or something nearby, like a checkpoint. What's that? Holy fuck. 
some kind of like weird weird as pro Callisto protocol kind of a shit. Alright, we're back with this giant behemoth or whatever that shit is. I'm gonna make him come here. I don't wanna fight there. He doesn't wanna come. Okay, the dude doesn't wanna come, so. Okay. Abba. Abber, Abberor, Abberor. Okay, that wasn't that tough. Let's morph into the dude and see what we can get. Holy shit, dude. Oh, wait, we opened a shortcut over here. Didn't even realize I did that. Oh, boy. Get me those sweet credits. And then we go down here. We go up here. Break this shit. Let's, yeah, we cannot take them... Oh, but there is one here as well. All right. Nice. Transform. And I think that's a checkpoint, I, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's not. Fuck. Oh, there is a tarot over there. I don't know if there's a switch that you can open with, but... Oh, you can dodge. Uh, you can do the slide even as a tarot. Oh, okay. Oh, no. We are locked in. We're gonna die. If a door can't be opened, it's not a door anymore, is it? Wow. <laughs> Ergo, there must be a door switch. What if there isn't? We're gonna die. No, the dialogues are so lame. But the game is really awesome. Uh, the two complaints I have is dialogue and... Okay, in the art, like I just love this art, but it's just too much on screen. Just look at this. Just look at this. Like, stay here and just see how much detail there is in in this in this one frame. Just too much to take in. Told you, there's a switch. Yep, you did. Mhm. Mm All right, let's transform into you. Is there any secret here? I love the echo. The sound effects are pretty awesome. Music. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Oh, wait, what? What? Oh, the boss, experiment ST-74. Shit, 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 what the fuck is happening? Wait, why did you go up? Let's just punch, punch this thing as much as we can. Okay, 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 transform, transform first. Jump, jump! Fuck. Okay, that's it. That's the boss. Okay. Easy. This is weird ass ball. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Three dodos inside. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Transform. Jump. Be here. I'm gonna punch you as. Uh... Okay. Transform. Oh, it was the other body. I don't know why did I pick this one up, but it's the same thing. I'm gonna heal. Punch you a bit more. Transform. Easy boss. Yeah, this is what I was curious about. How they are going to use this biomorph thing. Uh, it, it's already using the platforming puzzle. Look at those three disgusting birdlings or like you know fetchlings egglings what do you call small birds hatchlings use so many different words but yeah the um i was very curious to see how they use the biomorph mechanism for boss fights and uh, for platforming puzzles so far in the three games like if you don't consider the broken demo of oh shit i got hit broken demo of uh, Mira and the Legends of Zen. I think uh, World Less is my favorite among these three games that I've played. I still like this. It's just that I have a little more complaint than the other uh, other two. But the, again, if you don't consider Mira. Alright, we did the boss. Nice. Okay, what next? Oh, there's a cutscene. Let's check it out. Cutscenes are fucking awesome. The 2D art. Okay. What's happening? <laughs> Self-destruct sequence. 
So these are the two characters with her. Pretty awesome. I don't remember her names. I know Harlow, the other is Eki or something. And there we exit to the world. Biomorph. Pretty cool, interesting game, actually, to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna wishlist this. Definitely gonna check it out when it comes out. Maybe not buy it as soon as it comes out. I'm just gonna wait for it a little bit. But yeah, pretty, pretty cool game. I did most of the things it looks like. Oh, so windy outside, man. Keep the curtain open, fresh air inside. So yeah, the game, Biomorph. Loved it. Uh, the game, in terms of the gameplay, it's pretty awesome. The morphing part of it feels like a gimmick at the moment. I don't know what they're going to do ahead because the demo just wanted to show you the overall mechanic, which they did, and it's pretty awesome. So in that regard, I like it, but I don't know how they're going to integrate this into the overall game. I'm really curious to see because once you morph, like the big Callisto Protocol guy, uh, the brute was pretty awesome in terms of his controls that, you know, you felt like uh, he had some weight. The other Tarot, the, the ostrich Taurus kind of a character, that was like, um, yeah, weird character, but... Uh, designs are amazing i love the art but at the same time it kind of gets in the way uh, and that's a bit annoying because you really can't make out where you have to go because everything fucking looks the same and if there is no map uh, definitely going to get lost in a bigger world when the full game releases yeah pretty awesome game so we checked out three different games worldless mira and the legend of Jins, and then biomorph that's about it gonna end the video here jump to armored core and see you in the next one. Peace.